Hey everybody, what's up? Kenneth Russell here. Today I have a new guitar that I'm going to unbox. Check it out. Alright, well a few weeks ago, a company called Glary asked if they could send me a guitar to do a review on. So, I thought I would just do an unboxing of the guitar before I do the review. Uh, just, you know, sometimes when you buy something from China or wherever it's coming from, you know, it's not packaged the best or it is packaged well and it's kind of important to know on when you're you're buying something. So, I'm going to just do kind of like a live unboxing of this and a quick first impression of it. This is... I don't remember the model number on this, but I think it was something like $43 or something on those lines. So like super cheap. I mean, this is literally the cheapest guitar that I've ever bought. Certainly the cheapest guitar I've ever bought new. All right, let's see here. This cardboard is really cheap cardboard, but see how the guitar is in here. Right. Well, there's no packaging or foam or anything like that. It is nice that this came with a, a gig bag, some sort of, it's very flimsy, but it's nice that it has it. All right. And in here, There it is, Glary guitar. I'm gonna kind of do one of these numbers. You can hopefully it'll focus. And you can see it. You know, obviously, you know, for what you're paying, it's not the greatest guitar, but it is nicer than I anticipated. Strings are detuned. That's not bad. 40 bucks. Well, um, first impressions, this is probably the cheapest acoustic guitar I've ever owned. Um, right out of the box, it, I think it would do, you know, if you just wanted to get a first guitar and you're going to play it for like a couple weeks or a month or whatever just to see if you wanted to play guitar, this might be a an option. Um, the other side to it, it is, I could actually make this guitar play a lot better than it does just by lowering the saddle, filing it down a little bit, maybe working on this nut a little bit, putting different strings on it. The fretboard is like as dry as can be. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is like powdery almost. Um, the fret ends are a little sharp. Um, I mean, it's, it's a very, very cheap guitar, but I think you could actually make this a decent guitar um, this is better quality than, you know, like if you were to go to Walmart and buy one of those guitars that are on the shelf there, first act or whatever it is, this is better quality than that. Um, but, you know, it's not going to be as good a quality as like an entry level, um, Fender. There's a lot of cracking here on the ends. If you can see that on the, the edge of this, there's like crack cracking happen right there. I don't know if that's focusing or not. Might take some B-roll and put it in here. But, um, yeah, down here too. More, more cracking on there. But, you know, I don't know. 
another thing this might be really good for is like if you're getting into guitar repair and buying something like this just to be able to to work on you know uh, it's got everything that you'd need to work on it, it has a truss rod in here um, you know it actually has a compensated saddle which is nice um, but I'm gonna do a full review of this and get really into um, some of these details and get some really good B footage on this but um, I'm actually surprised with the packaging that it had that this came intact seems like uh, it's possible that it, it, it could have ended up bad. Let's see if there's anything else. Okay, it's got like this pick guard. I guess you could glue the pick guard on there. Um, it doesn't quite, well, maybe it does. I don't know. I'll, I'll look at that a little bit more in details. Let's see what else it came with. It's got a strap. And this is hysterical. It's got a strap, um, a pick, and it's got a whammy bar because you know your acoustic guitar needs a whammy bar. Um, and it also has a cord, which is not a, and it does have an Allen wrench for, for that. But I think the fact that it has a whammy bar, I wouldn't expect it to come with one if you if you bought one of these. I guarantee they this is for a Stratocaster style, and they somebody put it in the wrong one. But I think that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. On any sort of unboxing that I've done but one pick yeah I would say right off the bat replace the strings and that would be good but man if, as cheap as this guitar is I mean if you put like elixirs on here or something you're gonna be spending a third of the cost of the guitar on strings but all right that's enough for now there's the the glary G L A R R Y and this is the model GT304. You can see it in there. Glary GT304. Anyway, Kenneth Russell out. Thanks for watching this. And uh, stay tuned for the full review of the Glary model GT304. That is as cheap as you can make a guitar.